We're now going to get into some more advanced topics for pointers. The first thing that we're going to cover is pointer pointers. Now at first, this seems very complicated. It seems like it's going to be a big hurdle. But when we remember that pointers are just a value that is an address, right? Just like one, two, three, four Sesame Street, that's a value, but we know that it actually is pointing to some other location. A pointer pointer just happens to be an address that points to another address. In the following example, we set up two values, v1 and v2. And just like we've been doing, we're going to set up a name, address, and value for each of them to help us mentally work through what's going on. The first thing is that we have v1, and we set that at some address like four, okay? It's sort of our beginning address. You wouldn't want to say zero because that would be null. So it's some address like four. Obviously, it's going to be a big address later. We'll set that value to one so that we can remember v1 for value one is that. Do the same thing for v2. Now we're going to get to our first value. That value is checkpoint. And this is what we're going to use along the way to sort of check in to see after we evaluate certain expressions, what values we get. So first we're gonna create a pointer that points to V1. And so of course, we're gonna set that as the value 0x04, right? Cause that's pointing to that address, right? So that's pointer just pointing to V1. Now, if we make a pointer pointer, that is going to be pointing to or sort of referencing our original pointer. This is not as tricky as you might think. We're just saying this points to the address of pointer. Okay, so there's, there's no extra magic with this additional layer. We're just pointing back to that original thing. So now we have to ask ourselves, okay, when we double dereference pointer pointer, what is the value going to be? We can use the same tricks that we've been doing before where we trace through our addresses and eventually get back to one. When we get one here, because we're going to say, aha, we've got a pointer pointer, we go to pointer, we do reference pointer, get back to one. But what happens when we change pointer to now point to V2, right? So it's new value that's stored in memory is going to be zero X zero eight right? We're changing what the value of pointer is. And so now when we trace through and we sort of do our analysis, right? We're starting down here at pointer pointer. And what we're going to do is we're referencing, ah, we're going to trace through and we see now that this points to whatever is in V2, which is going to be two. So what you can see is that pointer pointers, you should really conceptualize them at least when we're starting as just something that points to an address. And all of the same tricks and ideas that we were using before to think about how do we dereference and work with pointers, they're going to do the exact same thing with pointer pointers.